Welcome to the Skywalker Trampolines assembly video for the SWTC 1500 series. This video will cover all 15 foot round trampolines regardless of color. Before assembling your trampoline, please do a complete inventory of both boxes. You should have received box one of two and box two of two. Please use the parts list in your manual to assist you in your inventory. Please locate top tubes with T-joint and top tubes with T-socket. With the spring holes facing the ground, insert top tube with T-joint into top tube with T-socket. It does not matter if the T-joint or socket is on the left or middle as long as all T-joints and sockets are in the same location throughout assembly. T-sockets will have an extra welded piece and T-joints will not. Now locate two leg extensions, one leg brace, and four self-tapping screws. Attach the leg extensions to the middle leg brace and secure using two self-tapping screws. Now insert the leg extensions into the trampoline, T-joint, and T-socket. Secure using the self-tapping screws. Repeat this step five more times. You should now have six completed trampoline frame sections. Please note the next step does require two people. Flip two of the leg sections over so that the spring holes are facing the sky instead of the ground. Insert top tubes together to form the round frame, ensuring the T-sockets and T-joints are alternating. Example, you should have a top tube, T-socket, top tube, T-joint. Continue this pattern to complete your frame. Lay the jump mat on the ground inside the completed frame with the warning labels and enclosure net on top. The enclosure net may come pre-attached to the jumping mat. If not, please refer to your owner's manual. The enclosure net door should be placed over a T-joint. Attach your first spring here. After attaching the first spring, attach the remaining springs evenly across the trampoline, ensuring that the tension is distributed evenly while attaching. This can be done by counting 24 spring holes and 24 V-rings from the original spring and attaching another spring. Repeat this process until you have four evenly spaced springs. From there, place a spring in the middle of each of the existing springs. This can be done by counting 12 springs and 12 V-rings from an existing spring. Once these eight springs are attached, attach the remaining springs evenly throughout the frame. We found it easiest to rotate around the trampoline attaching a spring to the right of an existing spring until all springs are placed. Lay the spring pad on the frame, making sure to place the slits above the T-sockets. Now attach the spring pad to the frame using the straps on the underneath side. For more information regarding the assembly of the spring pad, refer to your owner's manual. After you have attached the spring pad to the frame, the trampoline portion is now completely assembled. We will now assemble the enclosure frame. Begin by locating one straight and one curved enclosure pole. Attach the two poles together ensuring the two holes on the curved tube are facing the sky. Secure the two poles together using a self-tapping screw. Once the two poles are secured together, slide one foam sleeve over the curved pole and one foam sleeve over the straight pole. If you are having difficulty putting the foam on the enclosure poles, we have found putting some water on the inside of the foam allows the foam to slide more easily. Repeat this step five more times until all six poles are assembled. Place the colored pole cap on top of the curved pole with the glued in nut facing the jumping mat. Place the strap located on top of the enclosure net over the top of the pole cap aligning the holes. Insert the M5 by 50 millimeter bolt with black plastic cap. 
Repeat this step five times for the remaining enclosure poles. Do not tie the straps at the top at this time. Lift the enclosure poles and place into the associated T-sockets. Repeat until all enclosure poles have been inserted. Once all enclosure poles have been inserted, place all black plastic end caps into the bottom of the T-sockets. Now using a ladder, tie the straps around the top of the pull caps. Your trampoline assembly is now complete. Kick off your shoes, climb on in, and have some fun. Happy jumping! Thank you for watching this Skywalker trampoline assembly video. For more information, please visit our website www.skywalkertrampolines.com or visit us on Facebook and Pinterest.